My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will take a look at a very cool thing, and that is the agent assisted automation or the attended robot. That is where the robot works alongside the human to perform a task. That's really clever. Let's see how we can uh, make such a robot and we'll head to UI path first. So first we need some sort of a trigger to trigger our robot. So say that the user or the employee is working in a system, then we want to um, start the robot whenever the user wants. So click the user events and then click the monitor keyboard. Press the control one here, click OK. And now we can see that uh, we made a trigger. So whenever the user press control run, then we can perform this uh, event sequence. Right now there's nothing in it, so nothing happens. However, let's put in a message box first. Drag it in here. We could say, um, this is trigger one. And we can try to run it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more UiPath videos in the future. So right now the robot is running. We can press Control 2, nothing happens. Control 4, nothing happens. However, we can press Control Run and you can see that this is trigger one comes up. We click OK. The robot is still running because we haven't entered it. Control Run again, Control Run, and it will trigger this event. So then we haven't made any stop sign, so we'll just stop it manually. And now we can. Uh, create a rope that can perform a much more uh, usable uh, action. So let's delete this message box. Say that we are here in the UI path form, which is very good by the way, you can get a lot of uh, good things here. We want to save, like say that if we scroll to the news section and we get this just, just a random article, we want to get the headline and the URL so we can read it later and uh, we want to save that to Excel. So let's see how that is done. We still got the trigger. So whenever the user press control run, then we want UiPath robot to save the he um, headline here and the URL. So uh, we'll find some get text. Get text here. And uh, we will indicate the headline first. That's this one. And um, we will uh, get text. This could be the headline like this. Then we'll click the three ribbons because we'll need to trim the selector. So right now, this selector only finds a headline with this title. However, we want it to find any title when we're here. So we'll just delete this, leave an asterisk there, and we can see that it still works because we got this topic title still under tag A. So we're, that's this one, and we want to output it to a variable. So we'll press Control K up here, and we call this str headline, like this. Then we want to get uh, the URL, so drag in the text here, and then the indicate uh, URL, that's up here. And we will perform the same set of actions on this get text. So um, we could call this URL. We will click the edit selector. And then the title, oh sorry, we will um, delete everything here and just have an asterisk like this can see that it still works and so there's nothing else we need to um, change. So um, then we want to uh, save it to an output variable, so control K, str, we could call it um, URL, like this. So now we save two variables, however, we just save them, uh, whenever we press control run, we just save a headline and URL into variables, we are doing nothing with them. We want to save them to Excel, remember. So first we will build a data table in where we can save the data. So here in the beginning, drag in a data table. And uh, in the output, press Control K, that will be the DT, you can call it output. And then press the data table here, and uh, delete everything that's predefined. We'll just create a new one. So click the plus here. And for the first column, that will be the headline column, like this. And then we can uh, uh, put in another column. That will be the URL, like this. Then we will just click OK. So now we got an empty data table with the headline and the URL in as strings. So now when we've got these two variables, these two guys here, we can save it into a row of this data table. So we'll find a add data row. We'll drag this guy down here. 
then we will save it to the DT output like this, and then we will save it as an array because then we can put the two variables in here. So we'll click the expression editor, make some curly brackets, and then we will have the str. Oh, let us use the auto completion. So the str headline and remove this little dot here. Then we will uh, press comma and control space and the str url and still remove this comma. So now we are saving uh, these two variables into a data row and add it to this data table into this DT output. So that's it. Now we just need to write it to Excel. So uh, let's find a write range. Choose the one on the workbook. Drag it in here and we'll go to the desktop. Let's create a new um, Excel worksheet. We could call it uh, web path maybe. Then open it. We can have um, several sorts of um, sheets. So uh, I think this is Danish version of it. So uh, for not having like a thousand sheets, then uh, just rename this to sheet one. I think you got an English version probably. So just do nothing else. Just rename this to sheet one. So it follows the standard that I used to use. And we can just have the default here. So in the workbook path, click here. And then we will go to desktop. And uh, we will take the UI path, click open. And then the data table, that will be the DT output. And we'll just select the entire range, so delete this. Then click the Add Headers up here. And now we are ready to uh, perform uh, some actions with our robot. Remember, we wanted to save the headline and the URL of the news that we want to. Only when the user clicks Control 1. So then we run the robot. Now we can scroll back to save some news. And um, maybe I want our best practice webinar like this. So um, then I'll just press Control 1. Now this should be saved. Then I want the uh, join us live with our CEO, Daniel Dines, like this. Then I want um, <laughs> Fast Track Preview 2 release. Let's pick two more. Control 1. And then we want, um, sorry, let's get back here. Then we want um, Forum Newsletter, New Year Edition. So that's it. We can just go back here to UI path, click stop, and because we already saved it to the Excel um, workbook, so we can just open it up and inspect the data and make sure that it's actually there. We can see here that, um, let me drag it in, or maybe I can, yeah, I can here. Let us just do this. We can see we've got two columns, the headline column and the UL column, and it actually saved our four headlines with the corresponding ULs, so I can read it later. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Let's uh, close this one down. We actually could make a very cool thing on this. Maybe it's just a gimmick, but uh, it's quite funny. Um, I've been um, been using, I've been playing a little bit with the Google Speech. So uh, let's say that we want to notice the user that whenever we um, add some data, we want to notice him or her so um, he or she can know that uh, some data has actually been saved. So first I'll just need to get the asset because I think I'm not sure where my folder is. So that one will be in the build data up here. If you um, haven't um, checked my guide on how to uh, do the Google Spe Speech API setup, check it. It's in my videos. Otherwise we will just uh, move from here. I'll just need to go to orchestrator. And uh, what we'll need to do here is just to get um, the asset name. And again, I covered, oh, curly, uh, sorry, uh, quotation marks. Um, and I covered this topic here in a previous video. This is just some very cool gimmick. So, and then the output will be the, uh, maybe STR, GSA, will be the service account. Then we can uh, make the robot speak. speak. So uh, let's search for Google and the speech. And we want the uh, text to speech. So whenever we add a data row, we want to do something. The um, language code, we want to uh, have the English Great Britain. You can take whatever you want. That's this one. The service account was the one that I just created up here. And then we want to say something. We could say like maybe uh, data has been saved like this. 
So now let's open up the browser. Whenever we save some data to our Excel sheet, then we uh, the robot will tell us. Let's check that out. Start the robot, run the file, then uh, pick up a uh, new that we want to save. Now we're here, we can try to press Control Run and listen to the robot. Data has been saved. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Um, we could try another one. I know it's just the same, but I, I just think it's so cool. So Control Run. Data has been saved. <laughs> we can even tune it a little bit more. Say that we want to uh, tell the user what kind of data that we we have we have saved. Then we could um, whenever oh let's stop the robot. Whenever we're here, we can just uh, edit this um, thing to say um, take the headline. So now it will read up the headline and tell us that the data has been saved. That's um, that's it. Let's just uh, click OK. Let's start the robot. Now to read up the headline. And then it will, um, whenever we press control one, let's try that. 2020 fast track preview two release data has been saved. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I just need to try it once more because I think it's so, so fun. Um, let's take this one and press control one. The 25th of February, it automation capabilities webinar data has been saved. <laughs> That's cool. Well, uh, remember, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be making a lot more cool UiPath videos. And until we uh, talk to each other, have a very good day. Bye-bye.